Hey, what's going on guys? Joel here. From the title of this video, you can probably tell what this is. This is my unboxing of my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Juggernaug Edition PS4, if the console matters to you. And it's just sitting inside of that box right now, on top of my bed, with my beautiful satin comforter, and purple pillowcases, please don't judge. Purple sheets also. And we are going to break out this knife and cut that tape off and see what's inside. I'm very excited to open this up, so let's do it. Okay, uh, I also got a Xbox One edition of Black Ops 3 in uh, this box just in case my PC and PlayStation 4 break or catch on fire or something. And I just really need to get my Call of Duty fix in. So we have that, and what's this say? Uh, carton number 4,446 out of 8,669. So, pretty special edition. Uh, not really. Would have been cool if I could have got like number 1000 or something. Oh god, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Okay, we saved it. Woo! Hey, there we go. All right. Gonna have a lot to recycle today. Gonna really contribute to Mother Earth. Okay, more tape. So I require the knife again. In retrospect, my bed might have not been the best setting location choice for this unboxing, but I didn't feel like doing it in my office and setting things up. Oh, let's just get practical here. Okay, cool. This is the box, Juggernaug Edition. So that's cool. Uh, got the Black Ops 3 logo here, and all of the stuff that's inside that we will open up in a second. Black Ops 3 logo on that side. All right, so break that tape a little bit so we can get this bad boy out of here. Create some separation. I'm just gonna put this on the bed. Oh, oh wow, I need to go to the gym more. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Is there any tape I'm gonna need to take off before we do this? No. All right. Okay, that is some beautiful artwork. Get a load of that. Get a load of that angry man right there. I like that. That's cool. And looks like there's some art on all of the sides of this box. So a lot of thought went into this special edition of Call of Duty. We will pull this open right here and pop the top on the Juggernaut box. First thing we see when we open this is our Steelbook edition of Black Ops 3. Get out here, Xbox One. Um, so that's cool. Cool zombies artwork on the back and the multiplayer man on the front. So I guess just someone from the campaign. Important health and safety warnings in the setting, settings menu. You don't want to break this into two and cut your throat with it. That would be bad for your health, so. Pretty simple. Just the steel book and the disc. And we have some coasters. Designs. Coaster, focus. Focus, fire a gun. Okay, there we go. Coaster Designs, 2008, Activision Publishing Incorporated. Made in China. Because where else would it be made? Um, what's a good way to open these with one hand? There probably isn't one. Woo! Okay. Oh, these are really cool. Well, let's take a gander at these, shall we? So we got the Revive Soda Coaster. And the Juggernaut Soda Coaster. The Speed Cola Soda Coaster. And the Double Tap Root Beer Soda Coaster. So, that's really cool. As somebody who is very sensitive about getting stains on wood in my house. Look at that wood right there. You see any stains? 
No, because we use coasters. We use coasters here. Welcome to the first world. Uh, yeah, so glad to have more coasters around. I don't have that many. Got the season pass. Put that right there. Got the giant zombies bonus map and the weapon camos that come with this edition. Weapon has 115 and cyborg, so that's cool. Nuketown bonus multiplayer map. Got a little Nuketown. What's this? Uh, are these the trading cards? I believe these are the trading cards. You gotta catch them all. Black Ops 3 trading cards. So let's take a gander at these, shall we? Sorry the lighting isn't the best. I really wanted to do this in my bedroom because my office is very cramped and hot right now. I don't know why. Call sign Firebreak Heatwave. Okay. So these are just the specialists. And then on the back, it has the names and the abilities. Look at all of them. Oh, that's a cool picture. And, oh, this one I haven't used yet. What's this one called? Spectre, Active Camo, and Ripper. Spectre deploys Mono Edge Twin Blade before. Gracefully dissecting. Okay, cool. So, there's the trading cards of all the specialists. I like the specialists. This is the highest one. I want to get him. What can he do? Rapid cycling, heat sinks, dump, stored thermal charge, which stuns enemies near the user, or a flamethrower that projects a steady stream of heat, considering anyone or anything unfortunate enough to be engulfed by it. So, we got the trading cards. We got the trading cards, boys. And I think what is next is what everyone has been waiting for, if you're still watching this video. I don't know if you are. But if you are, we got the fridge. The Juggernog. Let me move this stuff. Get out of here. Train cards and steel book and everything. Coasters. We have our fridge. Juggernog made with real eggs. That's a good nog. Let's get this plastic off. Let's take this protective cover off and make real love. Okay, so we got safety and installation instructions, but those won't be required because... I don't want to be safe. I want to be dangerous with this thing. I don't know. Uh, it's not that big. How do I open it? Is it from this side? There we go. And here is the light that we're going to put, boom, up there. It's going to light up and be cool. More cardboard. And what are you? Power cord. Cardboard for days. There's the little shelves. And cool. So. Let me get this set up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's in my office and the power is attached and everything. Cool. So really briefly before I set up the fridge in my office, I did want to show you a comparison of the mini fridge to my actual fridge. As you can see, we're planning for July 2016 already. That's going to be a big month for us. But let me just back up here. I don't have a lot of space in that corner. It's not the biggest fridge in the world, but it has a lot of personality. And we're gonna put some Mountain Dew in there and some Doritos because I like cold Doritos and we're just gonna rank up in Call of Duty. I'm not gonna put Doritos in there. But that's what it looks like. It's little, but it's cute. And let's get the lights working and the sounds and all that stuff. All right, so this is where the fridge is actually going to sit in my office. I got my PS4 there and my computer's right there. There's my little setup. I haven't done a setup video in a while. Please ignore that corner. That is the mess corner. I want to have a nice YouTube setup but I just, I don't know. Putting in the effort is difficult, so maybe the holiday we will get that set up. Here is the fridge when we open it, makes the sounds. Please let me open you with one hand. Please, please. I need to go to the gym, okay. Nice, all right. Does it make different sounds? I think it does, because the first time I opened it, it made a different sound than that even. That's really cool. A variety of sounds. Maybe one more? Maybe we'll hear one more? Cool. So, it's cooling now. We'll put some beverages in it and enjoy that with some Black Ops 3 tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I don't know. More Black Ops 3 content on the way. I hope you're excited for the game. I hope you're playing it and enjoying it and I hope you have a great day. Bye.